Hey everyone, Kefi here, and today I'm wondering, what about Kyrie? Because there was a distinct lack of Kyrie shown in the recent 20th anniversary trailer. I mean, we didn't see her at all, and she's one character fans desperately want to see play a larger role in the story. While Kingdom Hearts fans are almost always divided on most subjects, this seems to be a topic everyone can agree on. Kyrie needs her own game, her own story as she trains to be a Keyblade wielder on par with her friends Sora and Riku. And I've never really met anyone who doesn't think that Kyrie deserves more screen time. Kingdom Hearts Remind simply served to increase her appetite for this even more, especially if it's hinting towards a playable Kyrie in the future. Now I'm sure you've heard this argument before, that the Remind team did not have to go all out and create movesets complete with shot locks and everything for a whole bunch of different characters just for one single fight. That doesn't seem likely. But what does seem likely is that moving forward, they plan to let us play as all of these characters once again, so we can experience their abilities to the fullest. And with Kairi now asking to train with Master Aqua at the end of Melody of Memory, it seems even more likely she will be playable in a future game. But which game will it be? Kingdom Hearts 4 is definitely a possibility. I feel it's also possible, though, we get another Kingdom Hearts entry before 4. I mean, surely Disney and Square still have some hidden plans up their sleeves in addition to what they showed us at the anniversary. And I'm also sure that they're both aware of the colossal outpouring of support that Kyrie now has throughout the entire Kingdom Hearts community. They need to capitalize on that. So in my opinion, there's really no doubt that we will see a playable Kyrie once again. The only question is, what type of game will it actually be? Will it be Kingdom Hearts 4? Or will Kyrie get her own game? Her own solo adventure? Now, other than a solo Kyrie story, the Kingdom Hearts title that I think stands the strongest chance of getting released before Kingdom Hearts 4 is the 3.5 Collection. Newcomers to the series, and those who've only played a few titles, are pretty likely to be confused as to several aspects of the story leading into Kingdom Hearts 4 if they don't have some way to catch up on titles like Union Cross, Dark Road, and even Kingdom Hearts 3. You would be surprised at the amount of people who completely steer clear of mobile titles. And while I am also no fan of phone games, I'm certainly a fan of the Kingdom Hearts ones. But without moving some of these awesome stories to consoles, many people will never get to experience them. They will be missing out on key details of Kingdom Hearts lore. It'll be pretty interesting to see how they decide to fix this problem, but I still think the simplest approach is to release a 3.5 collection well before Kingdom Hearts 4. As always though, I want to know what you think about all of this. What other games are we likely to see get released before Kingdom Hearts 4? And at this point, do you still think it's possible we get some sort of game where Kyrie is the star. Just let me know your thoughts and theories in the comment section below. Feel free to like or subscribe if you've enjoyed this or any of my other videos. My name is Kefi, and I'm wishing you a fantastic day. May your heart be your guiding key. And happy gaming.